Hey guys, what's up? It's Nick here, old school duelist. Tell everyone to call me. I don't know why I do that every once in a while. Like, every once in a while when I record a video, I start off with a clap because I don't have nothing in my hands right now. Ah! Put stuff in my hands! Anyways, so it's Wednesday. So we're doing uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! today. I mean, that's pretty obvious. That's why you're here. Um, but yes, because of the new schedule and because of the new stuff I'm trying with my channel, every Wednesday is Yu-Gi-Oh! and every Friday is a video game. Hope you guys are really enjoying the new schedule. Um, I'm really sorry that it had such a big change, but I want to try new things with the channel. I've said that tons of times before, and so now we're doing new things with the channel. Haven't quite got on... Uh, Doing the gameplays of Yu-Gi-Oh! games, I know I said I'd do that. Um, it's just a matter of getting the emulators going. Uh, so, yeah, I really, guys, really hope you guys enjoy, um, <laughs> really enjoy Tales of the Stereo, the first episode. Uh, the next episode will be up really, really soon. Um, not this Friday, but the Friday after that. Man, it's so hard to... <laughs> Anyways, so we're doing Mass Heroes, because right now, because a new ban list came out, and just decks were just hit left and right with upstart. Upstart messes up consistency of stuff, so now you're just... Because think about it. If you had the three upstart and the three upstarts in your fucking deck, it was just throw in three upstart. Okay, now I don't, that's three card spaces I don't have to worry about. Now I can just throw in main deck stuff that I want to see. So, it just made stuff easier. But for some reason, my Masked Heroes... This is an updated version... Uh, my Masked Heroes just don't fucking, like, need Upstart. So we're going to jump into it. So this is a Master update. This is, right now, it's one of my mains. I'm working, I am I know I said in my uh, ban list video that I would do a, uh updated video on my Odd Eyes Magician. Um, right now, they're kind of taken apart just because uh, with the Wisdom Eye at 1, it's really hard to play the deck, honestly. So it's just something that I want to work on. So, they're not, don't expect an updated video at the moment. If you're watching this way in the future, then I really hope I posted an Odd Eyes, uh, I hope Odd Eyes Magician are back because I really, really enjoyed that deck. Um, but Quantums, do expect an update of that because the Quantums are awesome and I did find a deck that I, uh, a build that I really, really like. So now it's just a matter of putting it together, um, and buying the cards, which is always the fun part. Um, excuse my dirty hand, like, I had work today. I wasn't flipping you guys off, but, like, there's paint... On this hand, I don't know about this hand, but yeah, uh, so yeah, let's get into this deck profile. The whole reason why you're here. Um, okay, so we got three Shadow Mist, uh, Elemental Hero Shadow Mist. That's pretty standard for the deck. It's something that, uh, you know, is necessary. We don't have Stratos, but this is the next best thing. Uh, it is Master Heroes, to let you know. Uh, so it's, yeah, it's awesome. I really fucking, this is my, by far, favorite deck of all time. Uh, just for the fact of, Elemental Heroes. I've always loved E-Heroes. They're just amazing. But Shadow Mist is your searcher for your E-Heroes, plus your quick play uh, hero, your quick play ma mash change cards. Uh, so that's really about it. Send it to Grave, search out a hero, uh, special summon it to field, and you search out your quick play uh, quick play mash change card. The next card I run is, still I'm running the three, the two Blaze Man, because Blaze Man just is amazing. I can search out Polymerization when a normal or special summon him, and then plus also... Uh, or, not plus also, or I can send a elemental hero from deck to grave and he becomes the name, attribute, and the attack. It's amazing. He is just by far amazing. He puts Prisma to shame in, for if you're building pure elemental heroes. He puts Prisma to shame. <laughs> but if you're running just like uh, a Prisma in any deck, or if you need like, he's bad for other fusion, random fusion deck. Prisma puts him to shame in random fusion decks. Um, but if you're running pure Elemental Heroes, he's just, he's amazing. Uh, elemental Hero, oh, Bubble Man, I run two. Bubble Man is amazing, just for the fact I can special summon him when he's the only card in hand. And if he's the only card in hand or field, uh, I can draw two cards. So it's just awesome. I can go to quick, quick fours. So it's uh, just awesome. Downright awesome. I still run Neos Alias. Now, I went to regionals recently, which you guys will... I know I keep... In the, my ban list video, I said it'd be up really soon. I'm having difficulties right now with the with editing it. The audio is not syncing up right. So I'm trying to fix that. Um, other technicalities with my computer at the moment. Um, 
But yes, I know, when I went to regionals, people, I heard people talking about Elemental Heroes, and they're like, oh, you run Neos Alias? It's a bad deck. No, Neos Alias in the deck is actually really good. Uh, it's a really good uh, core combo um, with uh, Shadow Mist, Blaze Man, Bubble Man, Neos Alias. Neos Alias, I think, is amazing for the deck. Just a 19 Beat Stick, plus he's your uh, Shining Target, plus also he is a uh, Koga Target, and Koga just drops for game. Uh, that's it for the heroes, just like last, just like in the old one. I also run two Goblinberg just to get out um, Shadow Mist faster, and also Summoner Monk just to, again to get out Shadow Mist faster. That's really about it. That's all my monsters. It's a total of a lot of cards. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a total of five, seven, eight. It's a total of 12 cards, 12 monsters all together. It's pretty decent. Uh, the consistency is amazing. Plus, there's a lot of playback in the deck. Now, under the spells. Obviously, I run three mash change. Uh, yes, this is the gold rare. I, I, what, I guess you guys are going to be like, oh, good, get the supers, get the supers. I like the gold rare, honestly. The gold rare looks nice. So I'm going to play the three gold rare. I might get supers just for the just for my hero collection because I collect heroes. Maybe one day I'll do a ban list or a, bi a binder video. Don't think I ever will just because I don't really like doing trades over YouTube. Um, but I run three mass change because three mass change is amazing. It's your, your main, uh, quick, or quick target. It's your main target for Shadow Mist. Oh my God. I stuttered so much. Uh, yeah, that's really about it. Cause, uh, it's mass changes all day, every day. I run three Miracle Fusion. Miracle Fusion is definitely a playback. Uh, once you use up everything, it's your playback. Plus it's a great combo for Blazeman. You poly, then you Miracle Fusion. Boom, that's two monsters right off the bat. It's amazing. Uh, next card I run is I run three uh, Hero Lives. Hero Lives, it's really good. Uh, so what? You pay half your life points to get Shadow Mist out. You can drop your Dank Law first turn and just stare at them like deal with it. Uh, next card I run is I run two E-Call because, you know, Rota's at one. So I'll play the two E-Call. So expect seeing a Rota eventually. But two E-Call... Uh, it really doesn't make a difference running the two E-Call. The only thing is, I can't search out Goblinburg as fast. So it doesn't really hurt the deck. or It doesn't plus the deck or harm the deck really that much. Uh, the next card I run is two Mash Charge. Mash Charge is your playback because they take care of Dark Law really fast. So And anything else, uh, mainly. Uh, like your Bubble Man and stuff like that. Because you can use them for later if you really, really need to. Um, but Mash Charge is definitely your playback for... Shadow Mist into going to Dark Law because Dark Law, it's what this deck's all about, summoning Dark Law and dealing with, and telling them to deal with it. Now I run two Forbidden Lance and two MST. I'm going to show, I'm talking about them right now because it is Protect the Castle deck. So you just need stuff to deal with, to get rid of back row, plus your pendulums that people still play. Um, plus also Forbidden Lance to protect Dark Law from back row. Uh, now my one ofs of the deck, one Roto or Reinforcements of the Army um, for you beginner players. I'm not, you know, not saying blah, 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 whatever. You know the spiel. Um, but just for the people that just don't know what Rota means, Rota stands for Reinforcements of the Army. Now, I run one Rota because that's all I can run. I used to be able to run three, but I can't. Sad face. Uh, one Form Change. Form Change is a really nice plus for the deck to combo out and just protect your castle even more. And also, if you use it on any of your fusions to bring out Acid or anything out faster, it's just more fun. One Book of Moon. Um, just something I want to talk about real quick. So, Mass Change. If they if you activate Mass Change and they try to book a moon your Shadow Mist, Mass Change still goes off because Mass Change doesn't require a name for a target. So Mass Change can still target Shadow Mist and you can still summon your Dank Law or Dark Law with Book a Moon being chained to it. Uh, but if they do Forbidden Lance and it does, uh, if someone does Forbidden Lance, Shadow Mist, it doesn't go off. Book of Moon on, Dark, on Shadow Mist does go off. Forbidden Lance on Shadow Mist does not go off. Uh, one Raigeki, because Raigeki, it's still playable, and it just, you know, <laughs> I've OTK'd plenty of times in this deck with Raigeki. Uh, one Polymerization. Only, I only run one Polymerization uh, because I have plenty of Miracle Fusions, and you only need, I only run two Blaze Man, so why run a second uh, Polymerization? Plus, it's just it's, it's too cloggy. So only run one poly. If you really want to run two, go for it. But I just run run. I want I run one. Blah. That takes it for the spells. So we're gonna move on to the traps. The traps is definitely a different lineup compared to my old 
deck list I had. Two, Blazing Mirror Force. Blazing Mirror Force for the deck is just awesome. I really, I'm really, really happy that I picked these up at regionals. Um, but Blazing Mirror Force is just awesome. <laughs> I used to run Mirror Forces, but this is just even better. You can deal damage. Um, the only thing that I do uh, say be careful of is if you a uh, hero lives. Because if you hero lives, because you when you Blazing Mirror Force, it hits you first. So just be careful and keep that in mind. Um, but for the most part, I haven't really had any troubles with running Blazing Mirror Force in the deck. I am still running two Fiendish Chain just because I want to stop more attacks and stop effect negation because I hate effects. Dude, they bug me so much. And then I won one some Solemn Warning and one Bottomless Trap Hole. I thought about running Treacherous Trap Hole, but then I remembered I, this deck runs actually quite a bit of, or, uh, quite a bit of traps for, run, for at least trying to run Treacherous. Um, so yeah, that's just, I run Bottomless and one Solemn Morning. I thought about running Solemn Strike, but I'd rather Solemn Morning over Solemn Strike in this deck. I still think Solemn Strike is better than Solemn Morning, um, but for this particular deck, I want to run Solemn Morning. That's just my take on it. That takes care for the main deck. We're going to run to the extra deck. Extra deck is pretty self-explanatory. Um, then we're going to move on to side deck. And again, side deck is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, one, Masked Hero Dark Law. Or one. I run two Masked Hero Dark Laws. Uh, two is enough. If you really want to run three, I say go, in, go ahead and run three. Uh, I'll mention what you can take out for the third one. But I just prefer three because I do have the Mash Charge. And Mash Charge does target Dark Law. One, Masked Hero Acid. Just because I want to just blow up back row like crazy. Because this is Protect the Castle. Blow up back row. Uh, one, like I said, one Master of Koga. It does get over your big stuff really fast. And that's why, again, Alias is amazing for the deck. Uh, just drop Alias. And you can, honestly, you can just... Uh, you can Blaze Man throw an ali uh, Alias in the grave. And you don't really have to touch him. But Koga is awesome because he deals with... He gets rid of your, over your big... Big stuff they have to deal with. Anki, same thing. Go, runs over your big stuff and punches for game. Just because he can attack directly for 1,400. And, um, but if he does destroy a monster by battle, you do get a quick play change spell. A mashed change quick play spell. Dude, I am just being horrible at talking today. Uh, one, Master of Dian. I don't really go into him that much. Uh, he's one of your targets you can take out, or one of your targets, one of your p monsters you can take out for the third Dark Law. If you really want to, I still run the uh, Diane just because it's just to get out Shadow Mist faster. Here's your other monster you can take out for the Dark Law if you really wanted to run three Dark Law. Vapor is just great because you could, if you don't have a Bubble Man or a Shadow Mist in hand, play Bubble Man, Mash Change him, Form Change into Dark Law. Just for fun, why not? Um. Also, it's for the OTK. Also, you can OTK if you really wanted to, because you can deal 4,800 damage if you have Dark Dark Law in a form change, because you can Dark Law into Vapor and punch for a game. Um, next card uh, for the actual fusions of the deck, I run one absolute zero greatest combo of all time for the deck is honestly Acid. Uh, you fuse for it, absolute zero, then you form change or mash change into acid because as soon as he leaves field, you blow up every uh, all monsters your opponent controls, and then when he hits field, uh, you blow up all spells and traps. So it's an amazing combo. <laughs> Drop four game. Uh, one, ma uh, Elemental Hero Nova Master just for draw power, uh, and that's yeah, just 2600. Why not? And then one Elemental Hero, The Shining, just because, again, it deals with big stuff. And then one Elemental Hero Core, uh, just because more than likely you're going to go through uh, Absolute Zero in the duel and Nova in the duel. So if he leaves field and he's a 27 beat stick, it just deals with stuff really fast. And then for the overlays, I run one Diamond Crab King just to punch for 3k, and then you have a wall to deal with. Kerrigan, because Protect the Castle, you throw... Uh, Dark Law out there, throw him out there, target him for anything that targets ass or that would target Dark Law. Um, L or one one oh one because one oh one takes stuff. One ga 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 cowboy because take because cowboy for game. And move on to the side deck. Side deck is pretty self explanatory. One MST because I want to deal with back row so much. Uh, two dark holes because I just want to deal with field stuff. Uh, two Forbidden Grave, because if I'm running against, or going against BA, this guy's this card's amazing. Uh, Night Beam, or two Night Beam, because back row. Deal with back row. 
Uh, three duality because duality doesn't really hurt the deck all that much, and if you want to search faster, uh, why not? Uh, one, another uh, Blazing Mirror Force because I sometimes just need that third one. One, Light Imprisoning Mirror because if you run into Cosmos, here's your answer. I really would suggest not playing this just because it's such a bad card in the deck, but it, you know, it's come in handy surprisingly. It's come in handy. That's the sad part. It came in handy, and actually, I side decked for, for shits and fucks, and it won me a duel. Uh, just because the guy played from deck hardcore, and you play this, and they were forced to just throw stuff in the grave, and they couldn't play back from grave. One true to tribute, because if it's a hardcore pendulum deck, I really say throw that in the deck to just deal with widespread. Same thing with this, Vanity's Emptiness, because you want to stop uh, your summons. Uh, so, that takes care of the whole deck. This is the updated version of the entire deck. If you want to see the older version from, in, I think, like two formats ago. Uh, yes, from two formats ago. Go ahead. I'm not going to say I'm going to post in the link in the description because it's an old format. Why would you want to play old format? This is new format. This is uh, just an amazing deck. It's definitely still winning me duels. Still very, very amazing and can deal with meta, surprisingly. So... Hope you guys really enjoyed this video. All the links to social media will be in the links in the description below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my other videos. I think I said already because that's part of my outro. I don't know why I messed up outros. But thank you, and have a wonderful, beautiful night, day thing, or whatever.